Hi, my name is Annabelle, and I'm a junior from Crystal Springs Upland School. Today I'll be reading Who Would Win? Killer Whale vs. Great White Shark by Jerry Pelota, illustrated by Rob Bolster. What would happen if a killer whale met up with a great white shark? What if they had a fight? Who do you think would win? This is the scientific name of the killer whale. Meet the killer whale, also known as an orca. It is a sea mammal. It breathes air through the blowhole on the top of its head. Just like you, killer whales have lungs. They hold their breath underwater. Killer whale nicknames. Blackfish, orca, sea wolf, and killer of whales. This is the scientific name of the great white shark. Meet the great white shark. It is a huge fish that can't survive out of the water. Sharks and other fish don't breathe air. Fish get oxygen from water that flows through their gills. Like most sharks, the great white has five gill slits. Great white shark nicknames. Maneater, Tommy, White Pointer and White Death. The killer whale has a huge jaw full of about 50 teeth. The teeth can be almost four inches long. Did you know, if the killer whale loses an adult tooth, it doesn't grow back. A killer whale tooth looks like this. A great white shark has a gigantic mouth full of several rows of razor sharp teeth. It is scary to just look at them. Did you know? If a shark loses a tooth, another tooth takes its place. During a shark's life, it can lose more than 3,000 teeth. A great white shark tooth looks like this. The killer whale's dorsal fin looks like these. On the male killer whale, the dorsal fin can be up to six feet tall. Killer whales can be found in all oceans. Male and female great white sharks have dorsal fins that look the same. Great white sharks are also found in all oceans. Killer whales are meat eaters. Their favorite foods are seals and sea lions, but they also eat salmon and other fish. A killer whale was once seen grabbing a moose and a deer off the shoreline. The killer whale is king of the food chain. It has no natural enemies. The ocean is more like a food web than a food chain. In the ocean, everything eats almost everything else. Great white sharks eat fish, but have also been known to eat seals, sea lions, and even sea turtles. Now and then, they eat a few people. A great white shark is also high on the food chain. It is the largest predatory fish. Tiny plankton is eaten by small fish. Small fish gets eaten by bigger fish. Bigger fish gets eaten by larger fish and so on. A male killer whale is bigger than the female killer whale. A female is about four feet shorter. Killer whales have bones. This is a killer whale skeleton. The female great white shark is bigger than the male. Females are wider and about three feet longer. Great white sharks do not have bones. Shark skeletons are made of cartilage. Feel your own ear. It is made of cartilage. Although they are huge, killer whales can jump completely out of the water. Did you know? Killer whales might jump for fun, to knock some whale lice off their skin, or to catch a fish or a seal. In a fight, who do you think would win? A killer whale or a great white shark? Did you know? Great white sharks have been seen leaping into the air to catch a seal or a sea lion. Wow, great white sharks can jump completely out of the water too. So look at the facts. Who do you think has an advantage? Who would win? Like other sea mammals, 
Killer whales have a horizontal tail. Did you know? Killer whales can swim with just their side fins, but their huge tail is used for speed and turning. A horizontal tail is a better design for diving and surfacing fast. Like other sharks, a great white shark has a vertical tail. Did you know? Great white sharks and other fish use their tails for speed and steering. Sonar. Killer whales have no ears. They bounce sounds off of approaching fish. They use sonar to navigate, to locate other creatures in the ocean, and to find each other. They recognize echoes and other vibrations in the water. This is called echolocation. A bonus fact. Sonar is an acronym for sound, navigation, and ranging. Did you know? Some marines also use sonar, but nature had it first. Bats use sonar too. Underwater, you look like this to the killer whale. Smell. Did you know? Sharks can smell blood from three miles away. Underwater, the great white shark senses your electricity. Great white sharks have a keen sense of smell. They can also detect the electricity in fish and other animals. They can tell if you're nervous. Killer whales are family oriented. They live in groups called pods. Killer whale moms, dads, aunts, uncles, cousins, and kids eat, swim, and play together. They look out for each other. Great white sharks are loners. Two and three have been seen hunting as a team, but mostly they travel, hunt, and eat alone. Killer whales can stop swimming and tread water in one place. They can swim up to 30 miles per hour. In the ocean, that is fast. Did you know killer whales have smooth skin? Great white sharks never stop swimming. Seawater must flow through their gills so they can get oxygen. They cruise along at about two miles per hour, but speed up in bursts to 20 miles per hour. Bonus fact, great white sharks have rust skin. It is like sandpaper. Most fish have scales. Sharks have denticles. Denticles are like little tiny teeth on their skin. This is a close-up of the denticles on a great white skin. A killer whale's brain looks similar to a human brain, but it's three times larger. Killer whales are extremely intelligent. A great white shark does not have a round brain. It has different sections connected together. It is shaped like a letter Y. Scientists think every section is connected to a different sense. A killer whale can be captured, live in captivity, and trained to perform tricks. Killer whales are stars at aquariums and amusement parks. Great white sharks have never been able to survive long in captivity. Hollywood loves to make movies about them. Great white sharks are movie stars. Fun fact. Jaws is one of the most popular movies of all time. For years, moviegoers were afraid to swim at the beach. Everyone knows the music. So, what would happen if a killer whale and a great white shark met in the ocean? What if they were the same size? What if they were both hungry? What if they had a fight? Uh-oh. They're in the same place at the same time. They sense each other. There is an intense competition in nature. They are each planning their attacks. Great white sharks like to attack from below. Killer whales like to attack from any side. They are getting closer. Then the fight happens. Crunch. The great white shark makes the first move. It tries to attack with its sharp teeth. The killer whale outsmarts the shark and bites it. One, two, three seconds. The fight is over. It is no contest. 
The ferocious great white shark doesn't know what hit it. The killer whale won today. What do you think will happen the next time a killer whale meets a great white shark? Who would win? Do you think the shark can overcome a killer whale's superior intelligence? Here is a fun checklist you can fill out to compare who has the advantage. Thank you for reading with me today.